What's up you guys? Welcome back! Today I'm super excited because we are going to be testing a bunch of new makeup! Ah! There's always so many new releases this time of year because we have the holidays coming. So I actually have a lot of like holiday collections and then also just like regular new makeup in general that isn't necessarily holiday focused to test out today. I am so stinking excited. I think there's probably gonna be a lot of these videos within the next couple of months just because every brand is pumping out so many things right now. Um, and I love to test stuff out like this for you guys and show you guys what's worth your money and what's not. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all of my my future uploads and without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right so before we jump into all the new products I want to show you guys what I've been using to prep my skin and I want to thank Clinique for partnering with me on this portion of today's video but I have already gone in with my cleanser this is the Clinique acne solutions cleansing gel this has salicylic acid in it and it's great if you are acne prone even if you have dry skin it's not gonna dry you out so that's what I love about this because a lot of acne cleansers can dry it out so this does not dry me out but it prevents any acne from coming which I love especially because I'm always trying new stuff so my skin is like what are you doing <laughs> then I'm gonna follow up with the Clinique clarifying lotion so I'm just gonna put this on a little toner pad here and just use this to give me clear glowing skin like so and then for my last step and my favorite part this is the Clinique Clinique ID dramatically different hydrating jelly it's a mouthful but you guys this is an amazing product so basically what the Clinique ID allows you to do is to custom create your own moisturizer which is really cool so you basically pick the moisturizing base and then you can pick the active cartridge so I went with the hydrating jelly as my base which is lightweight and it's oil free and then I chose the cartridge for uneven skin tone which is gonna help to brighten and even out my skin but there are three different bases that you can choose from as well as five different cartridges so you can choose for you what best for your skin type like if you have oily skin they have a base that's better for oily skin than somebody like me who airs more on the dry side and then the different active cartridges which is the part that's inside of it right here target different things so they have one that's like for pores one that's for fine lines and wrinkles one that's for irritation and one that helps with fatigue skin that's gonna help to like energize up your skin so, so it's up to you which cartridge you can pick to kind of custom create your own moisturizer which I think is really really cool and a lot of times custom skincare can get very very expensive but this comes in at $39 for both the active cartridge and the base so the whole thing in total is only 39 bucks which I think is honestly a really good price to be able to custom create a moisturizer especially from a brand like Clinique because I'm pretty sure their moisturizers like on their own without the custom creation are that much to begin with so in total there's 15 different combinations that you can make but this one is my perfect combination so I'm gonna go in with this on my skin to prep for makeup application I normally do like one and a half pumps and it just makes my skin feel so hydrated and amazing. I love it. It's so silky and smooth and I love that it's oil free as well because I do have dry skin but I am definitely sensitive to oils. So I love to find products that can actually moisturize my skin without having tons of oil in them. So you guys can go to Clinique.com or visit a Clinique counter if you want to go ahead and get this yourself and I will put a link to their website down below in the description if you guys are at all interested but I have been loving all three steps working together have been really really great for my skin. All right. Jumping in with a foundation, we're going to be trying this new one from Zoeva. This is their Authentic Skin Natural Luminous Foundation, which sounds amazing to me. I have the shade 170W Fearless right here, so we're going to go in with this today. It has a nice pump, so I'm just going to pump some out on my skin, or on my finger, I mean, and then apply to my skin. That's about one pump. I'm going to go in with two, and we'll see how that does. It feels very silky, but it's thicker than I thought. I thought that it was going to be like a bit of a thinner foundation but it's not super thin, it's kind of just like right in between. Looks to be blending out very easily. It looks like it's a pretty good match with my neck. Obviously I don't self tan my face, so it's not matching <laughs> my face, but I'm just planning to match everything to my neck. And it looks like it's giving me a really nice coverage too, which I'm glad about. I wasn't sure what the coverage was gonna be like, because whenever I see Luminous, I get excited, but then a lot of times that also means that there's like no coverage. Um, but this looks like it's holding its coverage really nicely. This actually looks very beautiful, wow. I'm like really impressed. This is one of the first Zoeva products, or at least Zoeva skincare products that I've tried. I tried their eyeshadow palette like last month. I used that in a video I think as well. Um, and I really, really liked that. And this is like really, really nice. And you can get Zoeva at Ulta um, if you're wondering where you can get it. But it looks really, really pretty on my skin. It gives a very natural finish. It's definitely more on the luminous side, but it's not overly, overly glowy. It just looks like your skin, but better. And I really, really love it. But it still gives you that really nice coverage. So I'm excited to see how it lasts on my skin. I'll definitely update the description box. So check down there. I'll let you know how it lasts throughout the day. But upon first impressions, I like it a lot. Up next, we're going to jump in with concealer. This is the Natasha Denona Transfix Matte Concealer. I have shade 3W Warm right here. So I'm going to go in with this on my under eyes and see how it works. Ooh, 
This looks so much lighter when you apply it than it does in the tube. That's kind of weird. Okay, we'll make it all work. But this is very, very light. So just something to note, like am I colorblind or does it definitely look darker in the tube than it does when I apply it? So don't go by what the tube looks like. It also feels like very um, like silky, almost like oily in consistency. So I'm interested to see how that works because it's supposed to be a matte concealer. So I'm going to blend it out and see what it looks like. It looks to be holding its coverage really well, like as I'm blending it out. You can definitely see exactly where it is. Obviously, it's a lot lighter than my foundation is. Um, but I do normally use a concealer that's like at least three shades lighter because I do like to highlight and brighten just to really make sure that you blend it out well, especially with concealers like this that seem to be holding their coverage, which is a good thing, but just something to note. I probably realistically would have went in like with at least a shade darker. Um, but this is what we're working with. <laughs> it definitely looks super full coverage though. I don't know, I wasn't really expecting that when I first applied it because it definitely has like an oily feeling to it, but it definitely blends out to be completely matte and holds its coverage really, really well. So I can't complain about that at all. It's so interesting how it like dries down to be completely matte. All right, so besides the color not being perfect, I think the concealer itself looks really nice. I am interested to see how it dries down though because it definitely dried down to a matte pretty quickly. So I'm scared it's gonna be almost like a little drying, but right now it feels fine. So I'm not like super worried about it, but again, I will update you guys in the description box or as this tutorial goes on. All right, up next to set our whole face, we're gonna go in with this new product from Urban Decay. This is the Ultimate Brush Off Set and Go Off. Translucent Loose Setting Powder. That's so cute. This does come in shades, so I have shade medium here. I believe they do have a translucent one though as well. Very interesting packaging. I think, do you press this down? No, hang on. Let me see. Ooh, okay. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. I'm confused. I feel like you take this brush out somehow. Hang on, let me figure this out. Oh yes, okay. So this thing, oh yes, okay. <laughs> So you twist the top, this is like the brush, and then I think I'm just gonna like put this in. I don't know, shake it I guess? <laughs> is that what you're supposed to do? Yeah, okay. So I like got some powder in there, it's on the brush, and then I'm just gonna like go in. I feel like this brush is a little dense. Like it's a very dense brush, so it's not that easy to like swirl it. Maybe is it better to like pat it? I'm gonna put a little bit more on the brush and see how that kind of works. Then I'm gonna just like slide it, I guess, like this. I'm just scared it's gonna be moving my foundation. Like it is a very soft brush, you don't get me wrong. It's not like the brush is like hard or anything. It's just very dense. Like it reminds me of like a flat top kabuki that you would apply foundation with. So I just don't want it to move my foundation underneath. Um, so I feel like me dotting it like this actually works better than doing like swiping motions across my face. But it looks to be setting the foundation in my skin really nicely. I'm just, I don't know if I'm crazy about this whole brush situation, but you could absolutely just use like your own brush and put it in here um, and just use this kind of as like a stopper for the, the product itself. So I think in the future, that's probably what I will do. Like I like the way that the powder looks on my skin actually a lot, but I just feel like I would be better off using my own like powder brush. Like I'm just gonna grab a brush that I like and just kind of put it in there with that excess. And use that. Yeah, this is just like much easier. Like this brush is much less dense. I know that it's not gonna be moving my foundation, but I can set everything in place. So that's probably how I will use the product in the future, but the powder itself is really nice. It gives like a demi matte finish to the skin. Like it's not super, super matte. It doesn't feel drying at all. Um, definitely very lightweight, which I like. All right, so I zoomed you guys in because we're gonna get started on the eyes and we're gonna do the brows first with this new product from Benefit. This is the Benefit Brow Styler. So basically this has like a pencil on one side like this and then on the other side, it has a powder, which is really cool. And you can go in and kind of add that to give a little more texture to your brows. So we're gonna use this today. I have it in shade three, so let's go ahead and get started. The only thing that stinks about products like this is when there's like pencil on one side and then something else on the other that's not a spoolie, you do have to use your own spoolie. So I went and like spoolied my brows in place already, just like something to note that I never really think about because I normally just always like use a spoolie from the other end of my brow pencil. But I do like that it offers the powder. It's something a little different, so I'm excited to test it out. And Benefit definitely makes some of the best brow products, at least in my opinion. Their shade three is like perfect for me. I always really like their shade range. It's like the perfect medium tone brown. It's not too dark, but it's not too light. All right, so that is it filled in with just the pencil. Super, super easy. So I'm just gonna go do the same thing on the other side and then we will add the powder and see how that changes it. 
All right, now I'm gonna go in with the other side and with the powder. And I'm just gonna go over very gently because you don't wanna use too, too much. I'm gonna really only add this to like the outer portion of my brow. I like to leave the front of my brow like really gradient. So I'm only gonna really deepen this up in the outer parts just to add a little bit more texture. I feel like it might be hard to tell on camera, but in person it just allows like your brows to have a little bit more of a real look to them instead of just looking like you have them like penciled on because the powder kind of like attaches to your brow hair just to add a little bit more texture to them. Oh, I just got some of my face there. Brush that off. But it just makes them look a little more fluffy, a little more real life-like, so I do really like that. All right, up next for our eyes, I'm so excited to try this. This is the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. Oh my goodness. It is so stinking cute. When I saw this, I was like, that is beautiful. I need to do a review right now. So we're gonna be using this today. It has a beautiful scent to it. It's definitely like a lighter scent. Like it's not super, super scented like some of their peach palettes are, but it's so, so beautiful. Kind of like vanilla-y gingerbread. So I love that. And we're gonna first go in with the shade Butterscotch. And I am gonna buff this into my crease and into my upper crease area. I love the Too Faced palettes that are like this like tin packaging. It reminds me of when I like first started getting into makeup and I had like all the chocolate bar palettes and stuff, which I still have and still use, but it just is like nostalgic to me. I don't know why. But when I first started to get into makeup, Too Faced was one of the first brands that I ever used. And I feel like I always just like gravitated towards them because they have like really girly packaging and that's just like my personality. Um, I always like loved their packaging and stuff. So yeah, just a little fun fact about me. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go with the Gingerbread Glam, and I'm gonna work this into the crease and outer corner. We're gonna go in and blend it. Don't worry, you guys, if you're like freaking out. I'm just kind of placing the color down right now, and then we'll go in and blend. I'm gonna create that little like outer V shape on my eye, and then go in with a bit of a fluffier blending brush just to blend everything. And then just doing the same thing on the other eye. All right, now to smoke it out even more on the outer corner, we're gonna go in with Cookie Call. And I'm gonna just pack this right in that outer V just to add extra depth to the look. And then I'm gonna buff that same deeper color beneath my lower lash line as well. And then all over the lid, I'm gonna go in with Candy Queen. And I'm gonna spritz my brush with some Fix Plus for that and go ahead in and pop that on the lid. Oh, so pretty. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. I'm gonna bring it into my inner corner too. And then same thing on the other eye. So sparkly and foiled, oh my goodness. And then to highlight, I'm gonna go in with Lick the Spoon. I love that name, so cute. And just pop that right beneath the brow bone. I don't have a new liquid liner, so I'm just gonna go in with the new Stila or it's not new, <laughs> um, just the Stila All Day Liquid Liner to do my liner because we are going to go in with some new lashes. This is the micro tip one, so it has like the tiniest little point, which is great because I don't really want to do like a thick liner because I want to like still keep that glitter and stuff visible. And in my waterline, I really, really want to try this. This is from NARS, and this is their High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner. This is in the shade Black. I swatched this in my PR unboxing and was like, oh my god, it was so pigmented. So I'm going to try this in my waterline, and I'm going to just go in. Oh my gosh, yes, it is so pigmented. Wow. With this. And they have a bunch of different shades, not just like black, but that's just what I'm using today. For our lashes today, I want to go in with these. These are from ColourPop and the Bye Bye Birdie collection. These are in the shade Batty, shade, style, <laughs> Batty, and they look so, so pretty. I've never used ColourPop lashes before, so I'm really eager to try them out. So I'm gonna go just pop some glue on them. I'm gonna go in and pop these bad boys on. They're definitely super thick, but they look so, so pretty. These are definitely dramatic, but I live. <laughs> Same thing on the other eye. For as thick as these are, they're actually very easy to apply. Sometimes thicker lashes that are like really voluminous like this, voluminous I mean, <laughs> can be hard to apply, but these are honestly really easy. And now I'm just going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara to blend everything together. All right, so eyes are done. We're gonna move on to the rest of the face. The first thing I wanna use is also from the new Too Faced Holiday Collection. This is the Gingerbread Tan Bronzer. And it looks like this, it has a little gingerbread man on it. So cute. And I'm gonna use this just to go ahead and bronze up the skin. It's actually a really, really pretty color. And it smells so good. Ooh, love that. 
and it adds a little sheen to the skin but no big like chunks of glitter or anything like that honestly this eye with like a red lip would be a perfect like holiday glam sort of look we are going to be using a nude little like lip kit today because i want to test it out but i feel like this eye would look so pretty with a red lip too like for holidays Love this bronzer, really, really pretty. And for our contour powder, I'm gonna jump into this little palette from Pure. This is also from their holiday collection, and this is the Crystal Clear Jumbo Highlighter and Bronzer Palette. So you get three different bronzers on the bottom and three different highlights. We're gonna be using the highlights too, but I'm gonna use the bronzer first, and I'm gonna go in with this middle tone one here. I'm gonna use that to contour out my cheeks, like so. And then I'm gonna use the lightest bronzer to contour out my nose. And just contour that so our nose is nice and snatched. Before we use the highlight in that palette, I want to do blush. So this is really, really cute. I love the packaging on this. This is from NARS's holiday collection, um, and this is the Free Lover Cheek Palette. So you get six different blushes in here. I honestly think this top one is like a highlight, so it's really like five blushes and a highlight. But for my blush day, I'm going to mix these two blushes together and just pop that on my cheeks. I've actually been liking doing like a little bit of darker blushes recently, which is so weird because I went for such a long time didn't even wear blush at all. But I don't know. I kind of like it, like adding that flush to my face. Then jumping back into that pure palette and the highlight, I think I'm going to go in with this more yellow toned one. I'll actually probably mix the yellow and the center one together a little bit. And highlight away. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Love it. So pretty. Ooh, this is blinding. Oh, I love. I live, live, live for this. Ooh, so pretty. It's actually a really, really nice palette. And what I like too is that the shades are big enough that you can fit your brush just in like one single shade. Like you don't have to do all of them. A lot of times I don't like bronzers and highlights like this that have all the different shades. They're always too small and then my brush gets into like one or two and it doesn't look right. Where with this one, it definitely is big enough to just put your brush in one of the shades or you can do all of them if you want or like a little mixture like I did. Oh my God, this is so pretty. And then last but certainly not least, for our lips, I want to try out this little lip kit duo thing. This is from Lorac, and this is their collaboration with Rachel Zoe. So I thought this was really cute. It comes with a lip liner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. So you have all three products covered, so we're going to go in with this today. The shade on the lip liner is Ginger Blonde. And everything in this collection has really cute packaging. I will absolutely say that. So I'm going to line my lips. I love this shade. It's very pretty pinky nude. Now I'm going to go in with the lipstick. This is also ginger blonde. The whole kit is like that. Ooh, I love this. A little bit of a deeper like fall nude, but I live. And then I'm going to go in with the lip gloss. Very, very pretty. I like this little set a lot. Love this shade. Super, super beautiful. So that is everything, you guys. I feel like we did really, really good today. Like, this look came out really, really nicely. There was nothing that I didn't like. Like, I feel like everything actually worked really, really well. So I'm really, really excited about that. The foundation still feels really, really beautiful on my skin and still looks really good. So I'm really happy about that. Like I said, I will update the description as to how it lasts throughout the day. But as of right now, I am very impressed with it. And the concealer does not feel drying as of now either. And I have been filming for about two hours now. So it has been on my face for quite some time. But again, I will update you guys on both of those products down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.